Hello everyone, Tomasz Pawłowski here. I'm a Squish Technical Consultant at FrogLogic and I would like to talk today about the remote control feature uh, which was recently added to Squish. So when you record a test case, you need to interact with both Squish IDE and uh, application under test. Uh, debugging a test script also usually requires a preview of the current AUT state. I mean, this is extremely easy when testing a desktop application running on the same machine where Squish ID is running. It's also rather not difficult when the AUT and the Squish IDE run on different machines but at the same physical location. However, it becomes extremely difficult when Squish IDE and the AUT run on the machines not in the same physical location. So how to work in such case? In theory, it is possible to use independent remote control tools alongside Squish to resolve the problem. But there's always a risk of both tools not working together well also, unwanted interference between Squish and the remote tool may happen as, as both tools use artificial UI events. Also, extra tools may lead to extra costs or extra time effort for installation and configuration. So, is there a better solution? To overcome these problems and challenges uh, since version 6.6, uh, Squish offers a built-in remote control feature designed around its main purpose, automated GUI testing. The remote control feature is designed as a GUI testing aid. It requires a connection, a network connection to a working AUT on the target system. The data required for its operation is embedded within a regular Squish communication. This means that the remote control can be used to used out of the box with minimal setup effort. So now we are ready to, to show this feature in action. I will demonstrate three main cases where remote control can be used. First, I will use it just to spy the remote AUT or interact with the remote AUT and I will describe you the functions of remote control dialog. And next, I will record a test case with verifications on the remote system. And finally, I will execute a test case on the remote system. I have opened the uh, Squish IDE and the um, test suite uh, was uh, created. Also, my uh, remote application is registered under server settings, attachable AUTs, here you can see the green box entry and here you can find the IP address of the device and the port number on which the application previously started by the start AUT tool is running. Um, okay, if you want to uh, remotely spy the application or just view the application or interact with the application, first we need to attach to the uh, remote application. And once we are attached, we can click the remote control button and then the uh, squish remote control dialog is dialog is open and we can use we can use this dialog to view or to operate the test system remotely um, so the the dialog always displays the current content of the desktop on the remote system so now we can see i will just uh, interact with the touch screen of the application and you can see that the, the view was updated. Also, all input actions performed on the central widget are forwarded uh, to the uh, remote system now and are replayed there. So if I will click on the, for example, buttons on the, uh, this switch button, I will go to the gauges and you can see that I can basically use my application using this uh, squish remote control uh, dialog. Uh, there's also a pause button here 
uh, that I can use to um, freeze frame the video stream. Uh, so now the post uh, remote control window is not updated when I interact with the, with the application. And I can also um, restore the uh, normal operation of this dialog just by clicking the pause button uh, again. And the remote control dialog can also be used only in the view mode. So by uh, pressing this button, um, by pressing this option, I will disable the user uh, input forwarding to the remote uh, application, remote system. And of course, I can enable that uh, again. I mean, there is also an, an option to enable, uh, disable, um, converting the mouse pointer inputs into the touch events on the remote uh, system. Uh, finally, additional option that we, we, ha we, ha we have on this uh, squish remote control dialog is extra keys button. Uh, some embedded and mobile devices, they offer additional uh, controls which do not map to the regular uh, PC keyboard. And for example, the volume uh, buttons on the side of, of the smartphone. In this case, uh, Squish can detect such keys and they will be listed under uh, the here extra keys button. Um, next, the option I'd like to show you is the uh, FPS limit combo box, which allows us to, to limit the frames per second um, which are used in the video transmission from the remote system to our viewer on the, on the, on the laptop. Um, we can limit that to avoid the saturation of the network connection. And additional reason for, for limiting this frame rate is if you want to, if you want to cap the CPU, CPU usage on the uh, remote system. And finally, this, this dialog can be also used to spy the application UI controls if you want to learn about uh, their properties. So just click the button uh, Squish Spy. And now using the, the Picker tool, we can pick an, any object. And we can, uh, on the bottom right, we can see all the object properties. We can also uh, traverse this application object tree if you go, go, want to go to the to the parent object. Let me close the remote control dialog because now I would like to demonstrate how we can record a test case um, using this approach. So I'll just let me uh, detach from the application, create a new test case, and let's click the record button. Choose the green box application. Now, in the normal way, I would interact with the physical touchscreen of my device, but if I don't have access to the touchscreen, I can just click the remote control uh, button on the, on the control bar, and now my application is displayed uh, in, this, in this nice view. Um, so let's, as a part of the test case, so now everything, all the interaction is recorded, I can check a speed to some higher value. And now let's say I would like to verify the, the value property of this speed gauge. And here you can see on the remote control dialog, I have the option to add verification. I can go with the property verification for that. I move to the Squish IDE um, because now I need to select the object which I want to verify. I will use the picker tool again. And again, I will pick the object from the remote control viewer and the object uh, was picked. And on the bottom right, we see all the object properties and we can filter for the property we want to verify. And you can see that the value property was found and the current value is 82. Let's assume this is the expected value. So, and we can add this property and the value to the verification and we see here that we our verification contains of the uh, will ver verify electric car QTSVG dial gauge object and we expect that the value property uh, is 82 and we save and insert verification and once we are done with the recording we can click stop recording button on the remote control dialog
And the generated code is exactly the same uh, when we interact with the device directly using the touch screen. So now um, our test case was fully created without physical interaction with the device. Um, we can also observe how the test case is executed in the remote control viewer. I will just extend my test case by adding snooze statement at the end. And also let's close the remote dialog. You see that this is the remote dialog now it has a red um, uh, color. The background is more red uh, because we are not attached to the, to the application running on the device. This is the indicator for us. Okay, so let's um, recreate the test case. I will put a breakpoint after, after attaching to the application. I will click the play button. The test case is executed till the breakpoint is reached. Um, and now if I would like to uh, view this test case execution in the remote control, I can now open the remote control dialog. And now I can resume my test case execution. And now we can see that this is executed using the remote control. And now the remote control is red. Uh, because uh, the task is finished with, with the touch from the from the application. So uh, now I would like to discuss the uh, limitations of uh, remote control dialog. Are there any limitations? Um, of course, yes, they are. They are um, first the the comfort of working with the remote devices. Uh, depends on network bandwidth and um, connection quality. So by default, the, the stream of the video is lossless uh, compression is used to stream the video, but it is possible to configure Squish to, to use the lossy compression of image data. Um, this compression requires uh, fewer data to be transferred but at the cost of the of some image distortion. Another limitation is the uh, CPU usage on the device. It, it may be affected. So um, I already said that if your device is low end with uh, fewer resources, consider using a, a small uh, FPS value uh, in the in the remote control dialog. And also remote control um, should be available on any platform supported by Squish. However, on uh, some platforms, it cannot be used without an additional uh, setup. So um, the ability to, to see and uh, control the remote test system will let you avoid the need to move between uh, different physical test setups. In most cases, there is no need to install and maintain additional software. Um, it will always remain compatible with Squish. So it will, and we, it will make uh, recording and inspection of tests on multiple target systems much easier and faster. Also, it will grant the test writers instant access to devices in remote location and minimize the need for interaction with the physical controls of the device. I think that this feature can be used, especially nowadays when a lot of us are working from home and we will be still able to use Squish to, to record, debug, um, test cases um, while we, on the devices located in our offices, in the labs, even we can do it from our home. Thanks a lot. And I'm looking forward for the Q&A session. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I will try to answer them. Thank you.